What's up Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, Darth Collector here with another Star Wars action figure video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you my Grand Army of the Republic figures. It's a little bit smaller than most other like series collectors, um, Grand Armies, you know, like JCC2224, his is massive, several other people's are massive, um, but you know, mine's pretty humble. Anyways, these were the figures that I mostly played with during my childhood, so all of them are kind of beat up, and most of them are missing guns, mainly, mainly the commanders are missing some of the pistols. Some of these are more recent, like acquisitions, like this Blight, I just got him a little bit ago. At least like a year ago. I say just, but compared to the rest of the collection, that's pretty recent. Anyways, I'm just kind of going to go through and name the commanders and kind of like how I have it arranged. Obviously, most of these guys don't actually have names. So, yeah. All right, starting in the bottom left, I have Commander Bly over here. This is a super cool Bly figure, and they used the like mold, uh, the mold on several other clone commander figures, like this green guy right here who doesn't really have a specified name, but it's a super cool mold, and I really like it. Moving up, I kind of just put all the light yellow guys so that kind of look like they could be in Bly's Legion, the three twenty seventh. Here's another commander Bly, but this one just kind of sucks, and it's five POA, and the paint is missing a lot of important details. We'll talk about that in another video, maybe. This is actually another clone commander, but you wouldn't think so. He comes in one of the Battle of Geonosis three packs with Roan Shrine, Sarissa Jang, and Sefjet Josal. It's very expensive now, but I got it a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. Here is either Waxer or Boyle from the landing at Point Rain arc. You can tell it's one of them because it has a little Numa decal, decal right on the side of his head. That's the Twi'lek girl in uh, some of the earlier episodes of the Clone Wars on Ryloth. I have a couple pilots here, a couple unnamed Clone Wars clones. Anyways, moving down is Commander Cody from the 212th. And I just have the rest of the 212th, so I have another Clone Wars one. I have Oddball up here as one of the pilots, actually, and then a Revenge of the Sith 212th guy up there from Mutapau. And then next line over, I have the 501st, so this is Rex and Anakin's Battalion. Here's two little mini, I don't even know what to call these, but two mini, mini figures, I guess you could say. Um, which are kind of cool. I don't even know where I got them, or I've had them for a long time, but. So yeah, we have Rex, um, Red Eye and Mixer. Mixer has been the back there. Snow Rex from that one arc. And then here's Echo from the Rishi arc with the binoculars. And then next row is my Wolf Pack figures. So here's Commander Wolf. All these Commander Wolf figures are just such good figures. This one though especially I like just because like the detail on the helmet and under it. Like, look at his eye. I don't know if the camera will focus but um, if it focuses you can see his eye is super cool. Move from a little further back. Yeah look at that. His eye is super cool. And then up here we have a, um, this is Boost, and then Sinker is along the top row, and then this middle guy's unnamed. In the next row, we have Gree from the 41st. This is the one from the, what arc is this? It's the one with Argaius. What do you call that arc? The Newt Gunray, where Jar Jar goes to uh, Rodia and he pretends to be a Jedi. That was a strange arc, but it wasn't, it wasn't horrible. Another 41st guy up here, the Z16. Here's Thyre. At this point, he's a lieutenant. This is from the first episode of the Clone Wars. He's a lieutenant here, but he becomes a commander eventually. And then I just have a couple of course on guard guys, Jack up there and a uh, shock trooper up at the top. And then next to them is just kind of the white basic uh, standard clone troopers. So I have three of them right here next to this cannon thing. And then I have two more up here, and then the other one up here. And this other one is the one that pilots the ATTE, which I have up here. And I actually have another ATTE up there. On the very top right, we have an ARF Trooper. I think this is the one from Teth, one of the ones from Teth in the Clone Wars movie. Anyways, that about sums it up, honestly. 
So yeah, my uh, my clone collections, you know, it's it's really cool. I don't know exactly how many figures I can count, but it's smaller than some people's. Um, but I, I really like it still. And these ones are the ones that I played with all throughout my childhood. So I have kind of good memories of these guys. Um, and that's why they're all missing parts, but I don't really regret any of that, obviously. Um, because that's what got me into collecting were probably these figures. And my first ever figure was actually one of these guys, and it was this 212th guy. First figure in my collection started it all, this 212th guy right here. So, he's the most beat up out of all of them, probably. He's been, uh, killed in a lot of battles. Anyways, that'll be all for my Grand Army of the Republic figures. Please be sure to like and subscribe really helps keep me motivated and I really want to get a hundred pretty soon that'd be so cool to have a hundred subscribers and even though it doesn't seem like that much but I think it'd still be super cool anyways thank you guys so much for watching have a good day and may the force be with you always